A man who watched his wife die an agonizing death took the stand today in the federal trial of a Dallas doctor accused of poisoning IV bags. Now, federal prosecutors say Dr. Rinaldo Ortiz was trying to cause problems in other physician surgeries, ended up killing his own colleague in the process. Andre Lucia, our eyes and ears in that courtroom right outside the Earl Cabell Federal Building in Dallas today for what is now day three of the trial. Take us inside. Yeah, I mean, you could really hear the emotion in John Caspar's voice as he described his wife's death. It happened right in front of him two years ago uh, at the couple's home here in Dallas. Dr. Melanie Caspar was an anesthesiologist at Baylor Scott & White Surgicare, North Dallas, where Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz has been accused of poisoning IV bags. In court today, her husband testified she'd brought him some IV bags two years ago to treat him when he got sick, helping him stay hydrated. A couple days later, on June 21st, 2022, he said she came home from work sick as well and asked for his help getting an IV started for herself. The most agonizing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. John Caspar, who we interviewed that year, repeated his account of her death for jurors today. She was just screaming, no words, just screaming, he said. When asked to describe the look on her face, he said, just in pain, agony. He recalled asking, is it the IV bag? And she said, no, it's my arm, my chest. He said, I'll have regrets forever, not yanking the IV bag out of her arm. He was on the phone with 911 when Melanie collapsed. He performed CPR, but says paramedics determined she was dead. Jurors today also heard from a 54-year-old McKinney woman who woke from a minor procedure at the surgery center to find herself being wheeled into an ambulance. I just remember thinking, I cannot die, she said during emotional testimony. Yeah, a nurse who worked with Ortiz also took the stand today, testifying that he suddenly started picking up his own IV bags, getting them himself uh, in that summer of 2022. She went on to describe uh, what she considered unusual behavior that he exhibited around those bags. So we couldn't be in the courtroom. Obviously, we're relying on you. What did you hear from the defense today in that courtroom? Yeah, I mean, they're uh, trying to poke holes in the prosecution's narrative here. They did show videos of other doctors besides Ortiz uh, getting their own IV bags at times, showing that that's, you know, not unheard of. Um, we heard from them, uh, you know, the fact that it's really unclear when Dr. Kaspar brought those IV bags home from the hospital. Um, and they pointed to cases of surgical complications in that same summer of 2022, uh, cases where there exists some evidence um, that uh, the complications might not have been caused by uh, the IV bag. So again, trying to poke holes in the narrative, in the pattern that the prosecution is uh, trying to tie to Dr. Ortiz. Of course, that is the defense's job here. All right, Andrea Lucia, thanks very much. Day three of the Ortiz trial.